for example that you are building something unique which is not exist where you have to code every single thing from scratch you have to build the library as per the smart contract requirement so for example that you are building a smart contract for a staking platform where you are allowing multiple stakes in the cross chain platform and on the base of that you are rewarding the user based on the referral as well so there is a lot of complexity is going first there is a cross chain second there is a multiple currency multiple token and then you are generating the referral so you have to keep a lot of track of data hey all of you hope you guys are great so i have an announcement to make soon i'm going to launch a advanced salty smart contract development course on the channel so you guys can follow that but before i talk about the materials the topics we're going to cover into the smart contract and how that particular this particular course is different from the other smart contract development course which we have on the channel if you talk about the complete smart contract development tutorial where we have learned every single thing about the salty how it's going to be different from that to this and who can actually follow this particular course if you really want to follow this course then what are the prerequisites you need to have to master this particular course which i'm going to launch so before i talk about the materials the topics we're going to cover about it i want to discuss the common patterns which i have found amongst youth developer so i have talked to many developers many newbies some of you have contacted me personally some of you have booked an appointment for a consultancy so in that what i have noticed that you guys can easily able to build the project just watching the video you can easily able to build the project like right now we have close to 30 project and many of you have built those project following the tutorial but when it's come to doing some modification in the smart contract you feel like blank you don't know how to do that modification so that's the very common pattern which i have found because some of you have an idea that this is the product which i have to launch this is the fee which i want to charge as a service or as a staking because if you talk about the staking platform which we have built many of you have come up with an idea that you want to charge like 10 percent 30 percents and maybe you want to include multiple token as a trade as a staking and that's a very easy if you guys have truly understand the smart contract we have built and if you truly know the small solidity smart contract programming language you can easily able to build that that feature in the smart contract but you're not able to do that because you have a lack of understanding about the smart contract programming language that how it's worked and the one thing i have noticed that you guys can easily able to build this entire smart contract which we have on the channel but when you actually see the real contract on the real wall so if you go to like ether scan and where you can see the contracts the different contracts we have for the nft marketplace for the nfts or for the stake in so these are difference of contracts we have but when you look at their contract you will find that what they're doing it's totally different than what you have built so it becomes very hard for all of you to understand that how things are working in that particular smart contract and that's created a lot of confusions and this is the most repetitive question i was asked a lot of time that everything's working fine but when i look at the existing contract on the blockchains i feel like i don't know much about the smart contract and i don't understand that what they have built and how they're building that particular logic and that's totally understandable because working on an existing code is quite complex and if you really want to work it, you need to have a good understanding about the program language itself you have to understand the business model that how exactly it work so that's what i'm going to focus in this particular course so the one thing i want to highlight that if you really want to follow this advanced solid smart contract development course you have to understand the basics so i have a close to 60 to 70 videos in the playlist and that which i have covered every single thing about the solidis programming language so i would recommend you to that first focus that particular playlist once you complete that playlist then you have to move to this particular advanced one because in that i'm going to focus totally on industry regi project so you have noticed probably this that in the smart contract we have different libraries we have libraries for the strings mathematics we have some external library which calculate the address which verify the user which restrict the bot so we're going to focus on these topics i'm not going to go into the basics where i will talk about the keywords definitely i'll, I'll explain about it but if you really want to learn about this keyword the syntax then definitely follow this basics course which i have in that i have a 60 video where i have explained every single thing that what is solid programming language and how you can utilize those keyword function unit ut unt is variable state variable local variable i have explained everything in that particular course so i want you to first focus on that if you truly comfortable with all the syntax all the complex logic which we have built on the channel and you have built one or two project which we have on the channel like like Unisop clone or maybe NFT marketplace or we have tons of projects so just go and build at least two projects and after that you can follow this particular advanced topic because in this we're going to build libraries so you can see that we have open zebra library we're going to build a library like that we're going to build complex models so first we'll focus on the library we'll talk about the different data sets 
for bot restriction so sometimes what happened that you want to restrict bot trading bot to to trade on your smart contract so you build that restriction function in the smart contract so how are you going to do that how are you going to trigger that functionality and how you can identify that which one is calling so sometimes what happened that you have to do the comparison between the actual smart contract address or maybe uh, the user address so how you can do the comparison sometimes what happened that you have to do the conversion of the number in a string inside a smart contract how you can do that sometimes you have to convert the string into a number in the contract how you can do that how you can build multiple libraries as per your requirement because not all the time you're going to build the same kind of function sometime uh, like you will get a you get a project where you have to build everything from customs like for a specific industry for example that you are building something unique which is not exist where you have to code every single thing from scratch you have to build the library as per the smart contract requirement so for example that you are building a smart contract for a staking platform where you are allowing multiple stakes in the cross chain platform and on the base of that you are rewarding the user based on the referral as well so there is a lot of complexity is going first there is a cross chain second there is a multiple currency multiple token and then you are generating the referral so you have to keep a lot of track of data so those kind of things we're going to focus so it's going to be totally advanced i really don't want to extend this video so it's going to be advanced topic so i would say is that if you are good in the salty smart contract if you have followed that complete the complete playlist which i have where i have explained every single thing about the smart contract development about the syntax function variables local variables state variables events so make sure to complete that once you complete that then only follow this then only follow this then you will take the maximum benefit of this and that will give you the real idea so when you will see the actual code on the on the if you talk about the binance change if you talk about the ethereum you can able to understand that what they have done and how they have built the logic so your life becomes very easy as a smart contract developer so try to keep all of this thing in your mind that what are the prerequisites you need to have to start this particular course and do let me know that how many of you are excited about the smart contract advanced course how many go how many of you going to follow this and this we're going to include one or two project which will be dedicated to the DeFi section because i have already announced on the channel that we're going to have a DeFi project and i have already given you the roadmap where i have explained that what are the things you have to learn if you want to master on the DeFi. so this this particular advanced authority course is based on that because if i talk about the project if we straight away build those project it's not going to make any sense to all of you guys after talking to you what i have realized that if i explain all of this complexity all of the libraries all of the custom models we're going to include in the DeFi, which we do it will not make sense it will create a lot of confusion in all of your head so that's why i decided to just focus on the advanced solidity course once i cover that after that i'm going to release a project which we have so the project is almost 80 percent is ready DeFi is almost 80 percent is ready so after i complete this one then i'm going to release that then you guys will understand that what exactly is happening so i want you to give me give me like two months of your time Every single day we'll have one video, we'll focus on one topic, try to understand every single thing and I want you to do practice. So whatever explanation I will give, whatever I will explain, whatever function I'm going to build, I want you to build at least two function of the same logic in two different way. And that way you will understand more, you will understand more. So that's what I want to encourage you to do in this entire course and I hope you guys are excited in that. So do let me know how many of you are excited and how many of you are looking forward for this course. Very soon I'm going to have the, the video will start coming on this channel. So just give me one week time. So I schedule my time for the videos and do let me know that you guys want me to upload the video in one complete video or you want me to build uh, like like one video in one day if you want me to upload the complete video in one go that will take time but if you want me to upload one topic at a day then definitely i can record and i can simply publish every single day so you guys can follow that so i hope you guys will enjoy a lot and you guys will learn a lot of things and that will teach you every single thing about the smart contract advanced development so when you will look at any code any libraries you guys will understand that what exactly is happening and when you will sit for the interview that's going to give you a lot of benefits because this is kind of question we generally when i take any interview for the company or when i try to hire someone for my project these kind of things i ask i ask the most advanced one because i don't want to involve if i hire someone to work on the project and i have to give my personal consultancy that this is what you have to include this is what you have to add so obviously when i'm hiring someone i have to hire someone good who can complete the tasks without my involvement obviously i have to go through that on the upper portion but he has to build everything from the scratch if he needs my help in the beginning then 
then you understand what I mean by that, okay? So definitely very soon I'm going to have the videos on the channel so you guys can follow and make sure to like and subscribe and do let me know in the comment section that how many of you are excited about this course and that will motivate me a lot to soon soon release this project, okay? Uh, sorry, soon release this course. So with that, I'm ending this video. I hope you guys have found this video valuable. If you still have any confusion, any doubt, do let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely try to help in that. Have a wonderful day.